Drake has been placing some of the worst MMA bets I've seen in a while. No one loses money on MMA like Drake does. Don't get me wrong, I'm not against sprinkling some cheddar on an underdog, but Drake has been dropping whole cheese wheels on that shit. Drake started the year with a light $275,000 bet on Masvidal back in January. Now, for the more informed MMA fan, Masvidal's strategy for the last three years now has basically been land a flying knee or lose the fight. Some have suggested that Masvidal lost because Drake placed a bet on him. The Drake curse isn't a new phenomenon. Conor McGregor lost his title 48 hours before he even stepped in the octagon when Drake appeared at his weigh-ins. Max Holloway, Serena Williams and many others have suffered at the hands of the Drake curse. This is a phenomenon that's weaved its way through history. Allegedly, OVO Studios, I don't want any smoke. As the Titanic sunk, God's plan was blaring over the speakers. Goliath has even been depicted wearing a Drake shirt from his 2016 Views Tour. And we all know how that went. But back to Drake hemorrhaging money like it's the last round of a Diaz fight. Justin Gaethje was days away from finally becoming a UFC champion when Drake dropped a light $380,000 bet on him back in May. One round into the fight and Gaethje was unconscious and Drake was just there like, Oh shit, here we go again. Let me introduce the king of Rio himself. Jose Aldo is notoriously successful against wrestlers. Until Drake struck like a Francis Ngannou right hand. Jose Aldo lost that night and may never see gold again. Some of you may be saying, Well, Christian, surely Drake is just bad at gambling. After all, Jose Aldo was an underdog. Kamaru Usman was rated the pound for pound best in the sport. He was on the verge of the longest winning streak in UFC history. Until Drake teabagged Usman's life like Paddy Pimblett with a light $200,000 slip. Now, I understand that there's a lot more that goes into it than this. I prefer to live in a world where these corporations aren't just sponsoring Drake to swing betting lines and promote their own service. At the end of the day, the guy isn't even gambling his own money. Not to mention, he's as rich as the whole UFC roster combined. So don't gamble because you don't have $200 million to lose.